All right, so if you're still calling yourself a black man, uh, you're a Gentile. If you're still calling yourself a Hispanic man, you're a Gentile. If you're still calling yourself a Native American man, you're a Gentile in the eyes of Yahweh. All right, we have to be like our forefather, Jacob, when after he wrestled with Yahweh, it says Yahweh commanded him to change his name from Jacob to Israel. You need to convert back to Israel, just like our forefather Jacob did. Okay, so if you're calling yourself by words, you know, Native American, black man, Hispanic man, Mexican, Negro, colored, African American, uh, you know, if you're going by any of those by words, Latino, you know, you're, you're a Gentile. You need to be, you need to convert to Israel in your heart and in your mind. All right, you need to be proud and say, I'm an Israelite. All right. Um, so again, First Maccabees one and forty nine. To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. Okay, and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. All right. So the the king was saying, hey, if y'all don't y'all don't follow these heathen laws, you know you you you're going to be killed. Okay, it was oppression, oppression. All right, so um, let me back up a little bit because I, let's go to 43. Many of the Israelites, yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. All right, and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days, and pollute the sanctuary and the holy people, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with the manner of uncleanness and profanation." To the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. All right, so that's what it is, man. This is why our people are so destroyed because it was a law. When Greeks took over, it was the law. You could not follow the customs of the Israelites, of the you know, of the nation of Judah, of the nation of Israel. It was illegal in that time. They would kill you. All right. It says on uh, on verse fifty. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. So they were super confederate, meaning together, against the nation of Israel. And they wanted Israel destroyed and never to be remembered again. We're going to bring that out in Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they... they that hate thee have lifted up thee. Okay, so the enemies hate us. All of the heathen nations hate us. Why? Because they're jealous because we are the children of Yahweh. They're not. The word tumult, uh, I looked it up. It means uh, like a, it's like a mob or a, a commotion of a crowd, you know, that has a commotion. You know, they're upset. They've gathered together like a mob. That's what that means. Uh, they have taken crafty, this is verse 3, 83 and 3, Psalms. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. We are the hidden ones. Why are we hidden? Because we brought it out earlier. Because we're the ones who have never been called Yahweh's people. Okay? We weren't called Yahweh's people. We were called everything else in the book by words except for Yahweh's people. We were never called, told we were the Israelites in America. For they have consulted, oh, let me, I'm sorry, I skipped one. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The word confederate means together. So they're together against thee. And then it goes on and reads all the heathen nations that are against us. The tabernacles of Edom, so-called whites, and the Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs. Of Moab, so-called Chinese, and the Hagarenes, I believe those are Africans. Gabal, Africans, so-called Africans, 
Ammon, those are so-called Japanese, Amalek, so-called Israelis, those fake, fake Jews, the Jewish, that are dwelling in the land of Israel right now as a bastard, according to the Bible. The Philistines, Africans, with the inhabitants of Tyre, more Africans. All right, so all of these, basically all these heathen nations are against Israel, okay? Because they're jealous that they're not the children of Yahweh, okay? So now I'm going to go back to uh, 1 Maccabees. And uh, let's see. We'll go to 1, jump to 57. It says, And whosoever was found with any of the book of the Testament, the Bible, that's what that is, or if any committed to the law, the king's commandment was that they should put him to death. So if you were practicing customs and traditions of the Most High, Yahweh, if you were following his laws, statutes, and commandments, you were put to death in Greece, okay? This is why, you know, we became Gentiles. Because we couldn't practice our own customs, traditions, laws, and commandments. We had to, we had to take on the ways of the heathen. And, you know, we mingled with the heathen, you know. Um, I'm going to jump to 2 Maccabees. This is uh, chapter 6. And verse 1, it says, Not long after this king sent an old man of Athens, which is in Greece, to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of Yahweh, and to, and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympius and that in Garazim, of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in that place. The coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. For the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles, who dallied with harlots, which are whores, and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places, and besides that brought in the things that were not lawful. And you're still seeing all this happening today. Because America is a is a, an extension of Rome, which this is Greek, but then they called it the Greco-Roman Empire. But then it became America through the extension when the, it, the Europeans moved across the land to America, called it America, the New World. This is why our people were became Gentiles, because of, they were they were oppressed by their the enemy. You know the the Greek, the Roman. They were they they were not allowed to call themselves Jews or Israelites. Okay, they remember we brought it out in Psalms eighty three and two. They were to be cut off as a nation. So uh, we're gonna go to six. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient fasts, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. You couldn't even be calling yourself a Jew or you'd be killed, okay? This is why uh, our people became Gentiles, all right? But they took these books out of the Bible in 1611 because it's, it, you know, you, you're confused when you get to the New Testament and you start reading Gentile, you think it's about the Greeks and the Roman people. No, it's about our people who were who had to be forced to be Gentiles, all right? And uh, really quick, I almost forgot this verse. It's an important verse. Um, let me find it real quick. I think it's in, uh, I mean, it's in Corinthians. I just got to remember where. 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Yeah, 12 and 2. This is Paul talking to the, the Israelites in Corinth. All right, he says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. All right, so there you go. Paul is telling, he's preaching to the Israelites in the land of Corinth, 
telling them, Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Showing you that Israelites are Gentiles, all right? Just proving what I've been proving in this whole lesson. Um, so, so that's the end of my lesson. But I just wanted to show you, don't be dumbed down by no Christian when they try to tell you that, you know, all these heathen nations are the, they are Gentiles, but they're not the Gentiles that the apostles were preaching to that they weren't they're not the gentiles that Yahweh Shai was speaking about that he came to deliver the house of Israel okay he didn't come to deliver no one else but the house of Israel so don't let these dumb christians dumb you down cuz they don't know this bible this is our history this is our um this is our our book okay and, and i'm going to go to Amos really quick we're going to go to Amos 3 and I think 6. No, no, that's not it. Amos 3 and we'll start at 1. Hear this word that Yahweh hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right there, verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Yahweh has only known the nation of Israel. Okay, He hasn't known any of the heathen nations. And they've never known Him. How do you prove that? You prove that because they've never, none of these heathen nations have ever followed the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. Okay? And then now that we're in America as in captivity, They've dumbed Israel down, They've, especially the two-thirds. They, they love this captivity they're in. They love these false religions that they're in. They ain't never going to leave these damn things. And it's all because Yahweh is his will. He's, gotta, he's not going to he's not gonna reveal his secrets to them or his, you know, or his mysteries. He, he's not going to give them the truth. They're stuck in, in slumber. Um, let's just read this real quick. Amos 3 and 7, Surely Yahweh thy power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Alright, so the prophets of Yahweh, they are men of Israel, who, who are the ones who will have this truth seared in their brain. It's going to be the mark. There's going to be two marks in the last day when, when Yahweh Shai comes to bring judgment on this earth. When Yahweh Shai and Yahweh visit the earth on the last day, you know, you're going to have two different marks. You're going to have the mark of the beast, the ones who conform to the uh, beast system, which part of it is taking the microchip, which is literally the mark of the beast. And then you're going to have the ones who are marked with the truth sealed in their foreheads, the men of Yahweh, the Israelites. All right. And remember, the Gentiles in the New Testament are... The Israelites who were forced into captivity and forced to taking on heathen ways and heathen traditions. With that being said, um, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habrakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And Shalom to all the Akiam out there pushing the truth with sincerity. Shalom, Akiam, Shalom to the elect.